Okay, cool guys. So in this data frame, now this is where our data science begins. Up till now it was just warm up. Now this is where things start off. Okay, so in data frames, uh, again, um, so this is where uh, like all of your data thing, uh, frames get handled here, right? And uh, again, some of this inspiration comes from our pro programming language. So you're gonna see a lot of references from that point, which is going to be really helpful, okay? So again here, uh, import pandas as pd, numpy as numpy as numpy, np, right? And then uh, for, uh, for no reason I've put this, but uh, just ignore this for now. Um, just gonna delete it, right? And then I have data frame, pd is equal to read underscore uh, Excel, right? So three underscore news underscore sales dot XLSX, right? So basically I have an Excel as this one. Right, so I have this particular Excel file where I have not east, west, and then um, the month available there, right? So that's one of the things that uh, I have there. Now notice when I basically uh, say import this news data set, right? Uh, I also mentioned the sheet name, right? So that's how I got the data frame available, right? Now uh, I, I can also basically say index is equal to and give the uh, you know column name as month to basically import and then get this month as an index directly right uh, however uh, if it doesn't if it, we don't mention it we basically get a default index by pandas right now if you want to set that index to month what you can do is you can say data frame dot set index month and say in place is equal to true um, and then um, have it, right? So basically what this does is if you don't mention this, right? If you don't mention this, it basically doesn't, um, uh, it doesn't really change the index, right? Uh, unless it's assigned to a different data frame, right? So ensure that you have in place is equal to true to make a permanent change and that's how you get the change right so ideally if you did let's say comma index is equal to and give the column name you'll be waiting a data frame like this where this is slightly darker and this is an index that we have generated for this particular data frame right so so far with me guys we're just on indexing uh, a column right now ideally we'll not have the luxury of creating you know indexes uh, creating data sets uh, but you know you're just going to import data sets and then we're going to choose one particular uh, index there right so that's the idea here okay now selecting an index indexing within data frames right so i can take a data frame and say north and then you're going to get the entire column information such as this, right? Uh, so if I, if I run it, I basically get the entire information and notice that I get Jan, Feb and, and this thing as a, a index here, right? Because obviously if it is indexed, you're just going to get that information wherever you go, right? So that information is just generally going to tell you uh, till Till that data frame exists, till that index exists, right? So if I want two different columns, I can say things like this, north and south, and it, then it's going to give me that uh, column here. Right? So notice a square bracket with the column name with quotation, and then notice that I give a bracket that is a list of two column names uh, from a data frame to get these two columns, 